I am mighty. I am powerful. I am Keith, God of Thunder! Keith, 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 what are you doing? Um, you know, it's the, this episode of the How-To Olympics, we're doing a hammer throw, so no, it's no, no, just no. This is a mallet. This my mallet. is a hammer throw hammer. You shouldn't be able to lift that. It's a steel ball connected to a steel wire with a handle. But how am I supposed to use this? <laughs> Actually, that's really heavy. This is going to be right? too hard to use as a hammer. No, but we're going to learn from an expert today. Oh. We're going to meet a real life Thor. Oh, wow. Well, let's get to it. We're the Try Guys, and we absolutely love the Olympics. The competition, the drum, the glory. We can't get enough of it. But to be honest, there's a lot we don't know. So we want to become the ultimate Olympic experts the best way we know how. By trying. As we find out how to Olympics. Look how big he is. He is a mountain. I'm seeing everything in slow motion right now. Oh, that was incredible. That was amazing. Wow. Hey. Uh, Connor, so great to meet you. This is Eugene. I'm Keith Hammersberger, so I'm pretty ready for the day. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Do you guys know anything about the hammer throw? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> well, let me give you a quick little rundown. Uh -huh. It's really simple. It's about hurling the 16-pound steel ball as far as you can, almost the entire length of a football field. It takes a combination of strength and finesse to get that done. So you're spinning as fast as you can while holding Really, really, really intense tension that builds on the wire, and you're releasing it at over 100 kilometers an hour. You're obviously very trained, strong, strong, muscular, bigger than us. Handsome. Do we have to be handsome? Do we need to be strong? handsome for this? Handsome is number one. Okay. Number two is years and years of grinding on the technical aspects of the throw and building your strength and power. It's sort of categorized with the discus and the javelin and the shot put, but this is way cooler because you know you're like you're like spinning, you're like really revving up, kind of like a superhero, kind of like Thor. And I'm kind of hoping that I'll be like Thor today. Yeah, well Thor's only a thousand years old, but the hammer throw is actually two thousand plus years old. You know, we actually have a narrator who can help us out with the history. Thanks, guys. Legend has it that the concept of the hammer throw began as wheel hurling in Ireland's Teltain Games in 2000 BC, when Celtic warrior Culcalane gripped a chariot wheel by its axle, whirled it around his head, and threw it further than anyone else. People liked what they saw, but said, hey man, let's leave the chariots alone so we can still get places. They replaced it with a boulder attached to a wooden handle. Genius. By the Middle Ages, athletes were throwing actual sledgehammers, which is when the sport got its name. King Henry VIII even got in on the action. Who knew His Royal Highness was also a jock? Ouch! Since 1866, the hammer throw has been a regular event at athletic competitions. By then, the wooden handle had been replaced by a steel wire connecting an iron ball to a pair of grips, way less splinters. After the rules were set by the English, the sport became a fan favorite at the Highland Games, where hammer throwers donned traditional kilts, hoping for no wind. Hammer throwing joined the Olympics in 1900, but for men only. Women didn't compete until the 2000 Games, a whole 100 years after the dudes. The Olympic men's record was set in 1988 by Sergei Litvinov with a throw of 84.80 meters. Anita Vlodarczyk set the Olympic record for women in 2016 with an 82.29 meter throw, making her the first and only woman ever to throw the hammer over 80 meters at the Olympics. Watch out, Thor! You're the perfect person to teach us how to do this. Yeah. I think we're ready to throw some hammers. Give me one of them string balls, baby. No hammers yet. You gotta learn slow before you can go fast. You gotta learn to turn with some other things. We're gonna start with some medicine balls. These blue balls? Yes, the blue balls. First rules on turning in the hammer throw, left heel, right toe. It's very controlled, efficient turns. And we're gonna start to our left. And when you're moving, you get more force through a release like this. It's a real heel toe. Yeah, exactly. Heel toe the whole way down the circle. It's a lot more of a dance. Yeah, when I said finesse, I really meant it. Um, it's, it's really getting the power efficiently into the hammer and straight out in the direction of the throw. 
And you can't step out of the circle. No, so you have to exit the back half of that circle under control. So you can't release and fall out. That's a foul. And you can't step on the edge. That's a foul. Wow. Oh, give it a whirl. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Really? Twist. And hold there. Make sure your left toe is pointing. There we go. You switch to your toe when you, fl when you turn. There you go. It's very controlled. Heel toe. Yep, and we slow it down wow, a little bit, hot. make sure we're at 90 with our toes pointed towards 90. Good. Uh -huh. Do see do. Twist. There we go. Yes. And exit gracefully. I think the official might consider that under control. It's time to get a little hammer action and swing them. Not quite yet. We will grab some brooms next to brooms. prepare. I'm sorry, brooms? Do we need to clean up the area before we can swing the hammers? We need to clean up your technique. Ooh, damn girl. OK, I'll grab a broom. You just got McCullough. I went almost a year before throwing an actual hammer. You look like the stupidest kid at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> The idea is to feel more similar like a hammer where it's further away from you. You can start to feel the orbit of a real hammer and see if you can increase your speed. Yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm going for it here. Heel toe. We're going for it. <laughs> that, no, but that's not good. That's why you have this cage. That's exactly why you have this cage, to keep everybody else on the outside safe. All right, so we threw the medicine ball. Crushed it. Then we threw the broom. Swept the competition. I think we're ready for the hammers, don't you say? You make a good argument, but remember how long I told you it took me before I put a hammer in my hand? A whole 365 year. days. 365 days. So let's take an extra few steps before we get to the real hammer. And then put something a little heavier in our hands. A mop? Is it a mop? A bucket and a mop? Golf clubs. Oh. Oh, OK, that makes sense. I've actually accidentally thrown these many times. The next step is the wines. We use the wines to prepare a little more speed into the entry of your full turns. With these, you'll feel a little bit of weight at the end. Across. Over the head. Oh, above the head. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at it go. How many times do you guys pretend there's a rock guitar in the circle? Never. Wine. That's hot. Is this too sexy? It's okay. hot. Try to increase your speed and release. Very good. Improvement. The eye is beautiful. He looks like a ballet dancer. There and a go. beautiful toss, followed by a bow. Incredible. So this is such a unique sport. Connor, how did you get into it in the first place? They have a long history in the sport. Um, it's in my blood. Uh, my father threw for the Irish Olympic team in the 1984 and 88 Olympic Games. Wow. Back into my history, as I entered high school, is when I really grew in my interest for the hammer throw. I broke some national records, competed at the collegiate level, where I won a national championship. I eventually made the US Olympic team in 2016 in Rio, a crowning experience of my athletic career. And now I'm preparing for the Olympic trials, and hopefully we'll make the Tokyo 2020 team. Wow, incredible. So we did the medicine balls, we crushed it, we did the brooms, amazing. We practiced the overhead swing and the spin with the golf club. Certainly now that's enough and we can do the big dog thing with the hammer. Not yet. Oh my gosh. Connor McCullough. How much more time? Oh, I'm just kidding. It's hammer time. It's hammer time. It's hammer time. Everybody, back up. Get away from me. You get away from me. Get away from me. I'm about to start swinging. So if I go like that, oh, yeah. ow. <laughs> I already hurt myself. <laughs> oh, That's better. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thor, you got it. You're Thor. What happened to left heel, right toe? Well, I. <laughs> Whoa, I just got dizzy. Do you know why you get dizzy? I do not. What's happening inside of your ear is the fluid is moving. And when you stop moving, the fluid keeps moving, telling your brain that you're moving when we're not actually moving. So if my ear juice is spinning, how do I stop from getting dizzy? One of the techniques that we use is to focus on the hammer as you're spinning, instead of staring at everything else that's moving around you. Because your frame of reference then 
isn't moving. So the idea of getting dizzy while swinging around a ball of lead just, uh, I do understand why this is dangerous now. You got this. He's really proud of himself. What does working hard mean to him? Oh, you know, throwing stuff around the house. There we go. Then we would go. Good turns, honey. That was nice and controlled. Yeah. Controlled. Now, that technically would count as a meter. Maybe a meter and a half. Are you not entertained? Nice old reference. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Wow, look at him go. Try to keep it a little flatter so your orbit it's is more. less like this. Yeah, and more. Yeah, that's exactly. He's so strong. Look at him. Yeah, Gene, you crushed it. That was incredible. Wow, what was that? 10 meters? 12 meters? Your hair's a little out of control, but your, your form is incredible. <laughs> so there's one last thing you need to learn. <laughs> the yell. Why the yell? Is that like, are they mad about something? Is that an intimidation thing? But it's actually just a release of pressure at the end of your throw. You guys want to give it a try? Yeah. So if I was like, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to encourage it on its flight. Should I say no then? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, that was nice, nice and deep. That was a good one. Ho! A popular one these days is yeet. Yeet! Ha! Ha! I felt good. I'll give you one of mine. Ah! God. So that was incredible, but will it be as incredible going against us? I think it's time that we challenge you to a competition. If we do lose, that means you didn't teach us well enough. <laughs> <laughs> but we probably should know how the rules work first. Narrator. Of course. Men and women compete separately with the men's hammer weighing 7.26 kilograms, or about the weight of a bowling ball. The women's hammer weighs in at about four kilograms, or one half of a bowling ball, if they came in halves. The throwing circle is 2.135 meters in diameter, and once the thrower starts swinging, they cannot set the hammer down or drop it. They also can't touch the ground or step outside of the circle or on the insert until the hammer hits the ground. Also, for the throw to be measured, the hammer must land inside a marked 35-degree sector. Any of these violations is considered a foul, which invalidates the throw. At the Olympics, athletes get three attempts to make it into the top eight throwers. Then the top eight throwers get three more throws, and the longest single throw in that final round wins. Wait, I thought we decided we were doing like a no shirt thing. We didn't decide anything, Keith. You just came out shirtless. I thought that was part of the decision, that I would make a decision and you would follow. No, no, no. we said kilts. I know, but kilts sort of, in, you know, if you're gonna be sexy, be sexy. Keith, there's such a thing as too sexy. <laughs> I think we're ready for the competition. Well, I wasn't expecting kilts. Well, I'd say we killed it, so. Hey! hey! Today, we're not gonna do typical Olympic rules. We're gonna have one throw each, the combined distance of your throws against the single distance of mine. Okay. okay. Our, Our combined distance versus, versus your single, single distance. distance. Correct. If we beat you today, you will wear a kilt in the Olympics. Deal. Okay. Wow. Wow, now the stakes are real. Stakes. Now I'm gonna really try. Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna take him down. We're gonna crush him. Sorry, no cameras. Psh. All right, make sure you do your full three turns. Arms straight. Relaxed, controlled turns. Yeah. <sighs> the scream was excellent. Yeah, a 10, 10 for the yell at the end. Figure right where the ball rolled. Eugene, you better go check and make sure that he's not cheating. I'm gonna give myself two inches, don't tell him. The closest part. Yes, to me. Not where the ball rolled to. Yeah, the closest part <laughs> to me. <laughs> to him. 14 meters, eight centimeters. Woo! Woo! Beat that! <laughs> yeah! You ready for some mischief? 
I'm ready. Let's see what you got. Control. I feel like we're two schoolgirls <laughs> skipping through the field. Oh, wow, look at that. You really ruined the yard. 18 meters, 41 centimeters. Yeah. All right, guys, here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. We take your combined distance of 33, we double it, make it 66, and that's my new mark to beat. OK, well, okay. good luck. And remember, if you lose, you got to wear a kilt in the Olympics. Sounds like a deal to me. Goodness me. Jeez. Holy mother of balls. Yeah, that was intense. Straight too. Wow, that was like right down the middle. But was it longer than 66 meters? <laughs> Where is the ball? Uh, wow, it almost left the whole field. 69, 71. Wow. Well, fair is fair, Connor. You barely edged us out today. You barely beat us. Uh, but really, you, it was incredible to watch you and train uh, with you. It was super cool. I got a really great respect for this sport. It's impossible what you do. <laughs> yeah, it takes years and years to really perfect it. I'm glad uh, you guys came out. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the technique, the power, the finesse. And I can't wait to watch this uh, in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I hopefully will be able to see you and cheer you on this summer as well. Yeah, hopefully. Right after you throw it, I want you to look at the camera and say, that's for you, kid. There we go. Yeah. You know, it was a tough defeat, but when you consider he's an Olympic athlete, it makes sense that we lost. What did we learn, Keith? Well, we learned that Thor has almost nothing to do with this event, that shirtless kilts are not allowed, and that there's actually a lot of finesse in the hammer throw. <sighs> it just shows how much work these professionals put in that they can make it look easy, because let me tell you, it's not. <laughs> it's been an amazing day, but I think all that's left is to walk into the sunset. Shall we? Wait, this is gonna <laughs> wait. This isn't this isn't the right way. This right. way. This yes, way. Yes, yes, this yes. way. This way. <sighs> so these are plate twists. I got the twenty. Oh. <laughs> and they're gonna help prepare you guys for the actual throw. Oh my god. This is where I tweak my back. Yeah, very good. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. This is mostly an arm workout for me so far. And most of our power is gonna come from our back and legs. There we go. The grunting is really important. Ooh, it's all tummy right there. Do Olympians say tummy? Not usually. Oh, yeah, well, you know, we're, we're trying to rebrand the sport. 